Jamie is lying unconscious on the ground. She wakes and slowly sits up to look around. She calls out and hammers on the door before noticing a camera watching overhead. She remembers being on a date with a guy named Adam, telling him that she dreamed of being a professional kickboxer when she was younger. As the date is coming to an end, she kisses him. Back in the house, she runs a bath and lights some candles while speaking to her friend on the phone. Whilst relaxing in the bath, someone is wandering around her house. The last thing she remembers is seeing a masked figure leering over her. Jamie is now wandering down a corridor and runs into another woman called Sabrina. She tells her to stay back, but neither woman seems to know where they are or why they are now dressed the same. They continue exploring together before a door comes down trapping them together. Sabrina says that she is sorry and starts to attack Jamie. Jamie knocks her down and calls out for help. The cameras are still watching as Sabrina gets up and they continue to fight. Jamie asks why she is doing this and Sabrina replies that it is because they have to. The fight resumes and Sabrina beats Jamie to death. Sabrina cries out asking how many more she has to kill as the door opens. She is told to stay where she is. In the morning, Elizabeth helps her husband, Joseph, put on his jacket before he kisses her goodbye. Sabrina wakes and can hear someone screaming. There is an announcement regarding the fights. It seems that if the fighters survive, then so will their loved ones. We meet Cody, another woman who won her fight. It is revealed that Joseph is the announcer who declares that the games may continue. A woman named Phoebe is taken from her cell and put into the fight chamber with another one. They fight and Phoebe kills her opponent. Cody calls out to Sabrina. Sabrina asks how she is able to fight so well. She says she watched her father beat up her mother when she was younger. In another cell, the guards enter to speak with Teresa. A guard named Kurtz enters Sabrina's cell. He congratulates her on winning her fight and tells her that her daughter gets to live. Sabrina tells him that she doesn't have a daughter, and so he replies that she won't mind him giving the kill order. Suddenly, he grabs her by the throat and holds a gun to her head. He reveals that she was a prisoner of war, but that doesn't mean that she will get any special favors. He throws her to the floor before leaving. The women are soon marched down the corridor. Sabrina notices all the dead bodies in the morgue as she passes. The women are all tied to chairs and warned to stay silent. As the guards leave, Phoebe wonders how many of them she is going to kill. The others all want to find a way out. In walks Joseph and Elizabeth. Joseph tells them that they have gathered 50 women and now less than half survive. Elizabeth likes that Sabrina is a devious fighter, but Phoebe is Joseph's favorite. Joseph runs this organization and he announces that the final champion will be released back into society transformed. On the way back, Phoebe mocks Sabrina. Sabrina headbutts her and the gods have to separate them. Teresa asks Sabrina if it is true that she was a prisoner of war and escaped. Teresa says that they can escape if they kill the guards. Sabrina thinks that this is impossible. Later, Cody expresses concern that she may have to fight Sabrina before she goes for her next fight. In their cells, Sabrina and Teresa can watch the fight and encourage Cody to win, which she does. A group of people are also watching the fight on a large television, and they can be heard applauding. The other women fight in quick succession with an audience of rich spectators. Later in her cell, Sabrina is crying and reveals that she gave up a child for adoption and knew nothing about her until recently. She was going to call her Samantha. Teresa tells Cody that the people they love could be taken away easily, so she must fight for herself. Teresa is taken away to fight her next opponent, who she strangles to death. Two women named Brenda and Anne are the next ones to fight. Brenda doesn't want to go, and so Elizabeth leaves the party to come and deal with the situation. She reminds Brenda that the only way she can save her mother is to go down there and fight. Brenda headbutts her, and so Elizabeth decides that she is not salvageable and shoots Brenda in the head. She says that they will have to find a new replacement. Meanwhile, Sabrina has been tied to a table but manages to release herself. On a table next to her, there is a selection of knives. A man comes in to restrain her before she can get away. Back in her cell, she calls for Teresa but there is no answer. Teresa is in the fight chamber with Cody. She wonders what they will do if they refuse to fight. Cody believes that they will kill them both and their families. Teresa asks about Cody's mother, but Cody reminds her that she told her to fight for herself. Cody swings a punch, but Teresa does not hit her back. 
Teresa tells her about the first time she met her husband. He is sick now, and she says that if he dies now, it'll probably be a blessing. Teresa asks about Cody's mother again. Her health is good, and she and Cody need each other. They prepare to fight again while Sabrina watches on the screen. Cody hits, but Teresa does not fight back. She holds Cody by her neck and then puts Cody's hands around her neck, ordering her to squeeze. Teresa falls to the floor with Cody on top of her, squeezing until Teresa breathes her last breath. In walk the guards who carry out Teresa's body and leave Cody sitting there alone. Sabrina wonders why. She soon finds out as Phoebe is immediately sent in to fight Cody. As Phoebe walks through the corridor, she salutes Sabrina and mocks all the dead women. She tells Sabrina that she will be dead. Sabrina warns Phoebe not to touch Cody as she enters the elevator. Phoebe enters the chamber and congratulates Cody on her achievement. She starts to mock Cody and ask her if her father beat her as well and then asks how she killed him. Phoebe tells Cody that she is just like her. This finally makes Cody hit Phoebe. The two women start to fight, but Phoebe easily has the upper hand. She looks at the camera and says that this is for Sabrina. She throws Cody to the floor and stamps on her hand. Phoebe tells her that it's sad that her friend gave her life only for her to die seconds later. She begins to repeatedly throw down on Cody. Sabrina starts to yell at the camera that she wants to fight. Phoebe says that she is ready for the main event while we see Cody lay dead on the floor. Phoebe then screams that she wants Sabrina. Sabrina tells Kurtz that she wants to fight Phoebe. He tells her that she can fight all she wants. They are going to kill her kid anyway. She backs off into her cell screaming. Kurtz returns to the control room and releases the door to Sabrina's cell and the fight chamber. Sabrina runs to the elevator and takes it downstairs. As the door opens, Sabrina runs down the corridor and races into the fight chamber. She furiously attacks Phoebe and the two women viciously fight. Phoebe drops to the floor and starts laughing. Sabrina kicks and punches her opponent until she lays dead. The guards remove Phoebe's body, but a voice comes over the PA system that says she still needs to fight the replacement. Joseph goes on to say that this is the first time that the final fight has taken place against a new initiate. She is told to stand by the wall and wait. A woman named Isabel arrives in the doorway and Sabrina tells her to come in. The door closes and Joseph tells how she operates a gym with her husband and trains in jujitsu. As Joseph says that this singular contest will be the champion, the crowd applauds. Sabrina asks if Isabel knows why she is there. She asks if she has children, and when Isabel says no, Sabrina tells her that they have her husband. That is how they make them fight. Sabrina gets to her feet, but Isabel questions the truth of what Sabrina says. Sabrina throws the first punch, but Isabel throws her down. The watchers gasp. The two women struggle on the floor, but soon they release. Sabrina tells her that they have to fight and re-engages, but Isabel continually manages to get the upper hand. Isabel holds her by the neck until she nearly passes out and then apparently breaks her neck. Sabrina falls to the ground as the crowd cheers. The guards walk in and take Isabel away. Kurtz stands over Sabrina's prone body. All the bodies arrive in the morgue. Joseph and Elizabeth arrive to see Isabel. They thank Kurtz for his hard work and invite him to the party. In the morgue, an attendant is about to prepare Sabrina's body when she suddenly wakes and strikes him with a meat cleaver. Another attendant enters and she kills him as well. Sabrina exits the morgue and starts to kill the guards. Elizabeth tells Isabel that her winning was a great surprise and Isabel replies that she is pleased that she likes surprises. Sabrina approaches the room and looks through the keyhole before forcing her way in. She tries to release Isabel whilst fighting against Joseph and Elizabeth, but Elizabeth manages to kill Isabel. Sabrina asks Elizabeth how, as a woman, she could be part of this. Sabrina kicks her out of a window and she falls to her death into the fight chamber below. Joseph holds Sabrina by the neck and tells her that he is going to let her daughter live and then make her fight in the future. Sabrina manages to stab him right after. Kurtz is at the party and starts to realize that something is wrong. He comes up to the room but is confronted by Sabrina who beats him with a weapon before finally killing him with a knife. Sabrina goes down to the party, and as the guests suddenly become aware of her presence, they all stop and stare. She runs past some children, through a barn door, and out into the sunshine. From there, she runs across a bridge to freedom. However, she is shot in the back from behind by a guard. 
This guard is Adam. He was the recruiter who finds all the women to fight. As Sabrina dies, she is greeted by a vision of her daughter. What do you think about this movie? Did you think anyone was going to make it out alive? Make a comment below. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos on the screen. Thanks for watching.